Hey everyone, so I'm coding away from uh, recording away from home today, which is why you can see these uh, lovely kids <laughs> alphabet things in the background. It's my nieces and nephews room. So, uh, but this is like a really important topic, so I wanted to spend some time uh, recording and explaining methods. So, methods are a really crucial part of any kind of programming, uh, especially in Java included. And um, <laughs> my daughter's in the background there. Um, and so I think as we start to understand Java, we, or as we start to understand, understand methods, we'll understand Java better. We'll start to figure out kind of what's going on with some of this stuff in here. Um, and then we'll start to be able to make our own methods. And yeah, I think we'll, we'll start to really improve our skills, really like deepen our knowledge. So, um, so let me just, this part's not required, but okay. So we've seen something like, we've seen methods before, I guess, in my plan here. So next line, let's just say that. So the next line here is a, a method that's been written. Um, someone else has, has written this. It's we don't have so we don't have to like figure out how to take in a, a number from the user, or we don't have to figure out. There's a lot of other like methods that we've made where we don't necessarily have to figure out like how to do this. It's already been made for us. So yeah, this is an example of a method um, that we, yeah, we don't have to we don't have to code for. It's already there, and we can use it. So we can start to create our own methods. Uh, and build our way up to making more and more sophisticated methods like something like this. Another example of a method that we've used is if we want to turn this into a um, if we want to turn this string into a uh, integer, we use this oh, it didn't replace it. This parse int. This parse int is also a method. Um, so we're going to start like defining some of our own methods. So maybe what we want to do here is. Um, you know, there's a couple different things I could do. Maybe, okay, maybe I'm just going to say, like, we're going to, I oftentimes want to know if a number is even or not even. Um, so instead of coding to, for that every time, like, say if I take in a bunch of numbers from the user, um, and I want to um, just decide if it's, if the number is even or not even. So I could do something like that, and I'm going to do, like, while true, and I'm just going to say something like, you know, I just want to like keep taking in numbers from the user. This is like the world's, and then I want to decide if the numbers are even or not even. So I might make an uh, uh, a method called is it even? Okay, uh, and it's going to take in the num. And let's see. So if we run this for right now, let's see. Try to run this. cannot find the symbol right because even though we like we can use some of these other ones because they've already been defined and they've been included and, and in fact we imported them using this but like is it even is not yet defined um so i need to actually go through there and um define that but let me let me just do first let me just set this up i'm gonna say like you know if the number is less than zero uh then we're going to you know i'm gonna show you a little trick here if you have only one line after your if like if i just say break I could put that on the new line with curly brackets, but if it's just one line, you can also just put it all together. Like if you only have one command after the if, you can just put it all in one statement here. And that's the whole other thing. So uh, we're gonna go through and define is it even. So is it even? Um, okay, to begin with, so we're gonna start to learn more and more about Java, but there's a few things that we're not quite ready to uncover yet. So two things that we'll keep for right now are public and static. Uh, those two keywords, they have meaning, um, but for right now, there's no real point for us going through there. Uh, okay, so now, but now we get to the parts that are important to us. So we are going to get to the return type. So this is like, what kind of thing do you want to send back from this method, or do you want to send, or do you want to send nothing back? Uh, for example, we might want to, for now, maybe we're just going to print. Like, is this even is going to the method is going to print? Yes, yes, even, no, not even. So in that case, we're not returning anything to the user. We're not returning anything to the main code. So we can just type in code or type in void. And then we're going to do, is it even? And we'll do int, and I'm just going to use the end. It doesn't really matter what the keyword is. And then, you know, I could write just if uh, n uh, modulo 2 is equal, equal to 0, then... And, you know, I could do this on one line. I'll do it on seven. I mean, just to mix it up. System out print line. Uh, even. Right? Or else. Uh, system out. Uh, much pressure. All right. 
and then we're going to say odd. I guess. Now, if we run this, it's not great code because it's not really asking us to do anything, but for five, it's like odd, even. And so this is a, and hopefully that worked for everything. Um, so this is just a, a set of code that we could do that would, we could just keep feeding it numbers and it would keep testing to see whether they're even or odd. It's going to print something back for us. So this is a void method. Um, what you can notice, like, well, we see void here, we see void up here too, and that's where we can start to understand, like, what's going on in this main uh, method. This this is actually a method up here. This whole main thing, it's just a special type of method. Um, it's the method where we are going to start our code. So, like, the, when Java reads through your code, it needs to find the main method because it needs to know, like, where do I start this code? Oh, I find the main one; it goes to there. If I didn't, if I change this to like min code. Stop and try to run it. It's going to give me an error because it's going to say um, main method not found. Main method not found. Please define the main method. So we add that in there and suddenly it's going to work. So the main method is just, a, and this maybe could be a separate video. I'm going to try and wrap it up here shortly. Um, the main method is just an, another example of a method. It's just the first one that we start. So this is just, this is another method. It's just called, is it even? And it has a different function. Um, same way in here. We can take in values. So we can actually, when we start up the code, we can actually take in values from like, if you're running from like the command prompt or something, we could take in values from there. Um, and here we're gonna take in values from the user. So is it even takes in the value num and then sends it into the method to be used. Right now we set it up so that it's void, um, but we could also, we could do something like this. We could send back some string. So uh, send back some string sounds like you're getting some lint out of your pocket and giving it back, but that's not really what we're going to do here. Uh, we're going to actually like take in numbers and then we're going to send back to the user a string. We might send back, you know, we could just return this. And so this could probably be a, and we're just going to return it instead. So now we run this. See, it's not really like giving us any numbers, right? Let's see, I think I might have put a letter in there somewhere. Um, but it's not really giving us any feedback, right? Because we aren't printing anything anymore. So what we need to be doing here is we're actually going to, this whole thing is it's sending in a number, it's being evaluated, and then it's sending back either the string even or the string odd. So this thing is kind of in our code transforming into a, into a string after running through the method. So if we actually system, I'm trying to type too fast. If we actually print this thing out, run, and we get two. Now it's working again because we're returning this value, and now the print is happening up here. Um, so that's a that is a. This is the return type. You always need to define what the return type is. If it's not, if you don't want to return anything, that's fine. Just make it a string. Uh, otherwise, you need to like figure out what thing are you going to send back to the user. Okay, bit of a long video. Uh, I'm going to stop it there, and bye-bye.